Yo, champion. I want to state that everything in this video is simply my opinion, possibly allegations, and I do not know Conor McGregor personally or the reasoning for his actions, nor have I ever met him before. This video is going to talk about the narcissistic personality disorder and examine how Conor McGregor seemed to sucker punch an old man at an Irish bar on video. I have studied psychology for many years. This video will tell you why Conor McGregor was charged with assault recently. For those who don't know, on April 6, 2019, Conor McGregor on video walked into an Irish pub in Ireland, ordered shots of his whiskey that he has a multi-million dollar sponsorship for, and when the old man said no, the former two-weight UFC champion punched the old man in the face when he wasn't even looking at McGregor. As of October 4th, 2019, Connor is being charged with assault and is due in Dublin court October 11th, 2019 as of the making of this video. This assault charge can cause McGregor to spend six months in jail and pay $1,646. All of this is after March 2019, in which that month, Conor McGregor was arrested for smashing a fan's phone, as well as having allegations from a woman that she was assaulted by McGregor. Based on these actions, Conor McGregor seems to possibly display some characteristics of the NPD, also known as a Narcissistic Personality Disorder. NPD is a mental condition where an individual has an overly inflated sense of their own significance, require excessive praise and admiration from others, and show absolutely no empathy for anyone around them. Unfortunately, NPD is something that can be seen in individuals who quickly rise to the top of their field and become mega famous or rich, although in other people, it can be attributed to genetics as well as how they were raised by their parents during childhood. For example, having a large amount of criticism or admiration from their parents. To be honest, I used to be a huge fan of Conor McGregor, but after he won his second UFC championship belt from Eddie Alvarez, he seemed to change. He became someone who appeared to always try to get the audience's attention by becoming more and more controversial to get the spotlight. During his build-up to his fight with Floyd Mayweather, he was starting to get in the negative spotlight for saying very controversial things, possibly indirectly pertaining to his opponent's race. Was this intentional or an accident? Honestly, no one knows, but I will say it is easy to get carried away with trash-talking opponents. But then, during his fight against Khabib Nurmagomedov, he started to continue to push the controversy by tweeting that Khabib's wife was a quote towel and going as low as he could to try to get the mental edge on Khabib. Just like people who have the narcissistic personality disorder, Conor McGregor seems to chase staying in the headlines at all cost even if it means overriding other people's rights. The man in the bar was a prime example. This man didn't like Conor McGregor and according to the rumors, the older Irish gentleman in the pub supposedly told Connor that he lost to Khabib and was trash talking him. But even if that guy was bad talking Connor's mother or family, that doesn't give a UFC champion, Connor McGregor, any right to physically lash out against an untrained opponent and punch the man in the face. Overall, no one can say for certain if Conor McGregor has NPD or not, unless they personally know him, and I do not know him. But I do hope that he starts to lose these narcissistic characteristics. Just like Conor McGregor, Mike Tyson, during his prime days as a boxer, used to punch people in the street and possibly had NPD during his championship days, but calmed down afterwards and realized how wrong he was and is now a normal, humble human being. I honestly hope Conor McGregor can do the same, and to be honest, I would root for him again if he became the same humble person he used to be before he beat Jose Aldo and became a UFC champion. I strongly believe that all people deserve a second chance, and I can say that I miss the old McGregor. I really think this new one sucks. Click above to watch my video on Khabib Nurmagomedov. If you learned some cool new facts from this video, then make sure to subscribe to the Unleashing Potential channel right now.
just click on the subscribe button below this video. Now, I want to turn it over to you. What new fact did you learn about today? Is it A, Conor McGregor punched an old man, or B, people who have narcissistic-like traits, such as Mike Tyson, can later regret their actions and become a humble person? Let us know by leaving a comment below right now.